Today I want to talk about the cucking of America and the lack of intellectual rigor is killing the core of America. One of the things that happens is I observe your comments for the good, the bad. And this is something that has been happening for a long, long time. I will have people who would have a position that is steeped in theory. Give you an example. You know my thoughts on cryptocurrency. I believe that the majority of cryptocurrency is going to go to zero. And I am not an advocate of cryptocurrency. And I will have people who have the position that they are an advocate for cryptocurrency, but they don't own any cryptocurrency. My thesis, and I will go ahead and relay my thesis to you again, that you are better off if you're especially if you're in income danger zone, number one, less than $50,000 a year, you are better off starting a small business than investing in the stock market or cryptocurrency. And the proof of my thesis, this is something that I do. This is something that I do. This is something that I put in practice. For many of you long-term long -term viewers, you've seen receipts. You've seen ATM receipts. You, so I have proof of my thesis, proof. Now, this is why I call this video the cucking of America. What is a cuckold? A cuckold is a man whose wife will cheat on him in front of his face and he gets off on it. And this is why I say this video is titled The Cucking of America. Many people will want to argue a position from the vantage point of being a cuckold without participating in the endeavor. We've become a nation of spectators versus participants and technicians. And like, this is why I've made the video, the Moist Man video. You have people who will ardently defend their position with no skin in the game. None. None. Because we, oh, it's the cucking of America. Just, the, it, it's, it's gotten kind of ridiculous because one of the things that I consistently see, and this is something that I see when I do deep dives on certain YouTube channels. There are YouTube channels that put out great content. And before you ask me in the comments to recommend a YouTube channel to you, there's so many that I, like when I was trying to do um, an example of diving into the Man of Spirit channels, I couldn't remember their names right off the top of the head. So don't, don't, don't be asking me what are these channels? Because first of all, that will require me to go back to the level of research and the pinpointed channels. And I, frankly, I don't have that type of time to do that for you for free. I, I just don't. And one of the things that I consistently see, and this is why the great reset is going to be so pervasive. All right, guys, it's July, and we're getting into it. This is the thing for July. It's the program. It includes the intellectual property school, and it includes the art of profit business school. It's a powerful combination. First, what's going to happen this month, we're going to be building out the intellectual property school. And then next month, we're going to get into the art of business, the, the art of profit business school. Because one of the things that will happen, because let me, let me just go ahead and put this to you. You need a business. You need some kind of business. You need a business, especially if you're in income danger zone number one, because you need something where you can start getting deductions and expenses on your and your taxes. So one of the things I'm going to teach you is how to set up a YouTube channel. And this is the thing, and this, there's two parts. There's how to set up a YouTube channel, and then there's how to set up a YouTube channel to make money. It's two different things, it's two different lessons. And I'm gonna teach you how to set up your YouTube channel, how to set up your LLC, and how to position yourself where your YouTube channel becomes a huge tax deduction for you to offset your earned income. I mean, once we get into it, and once I show you some stuff, because let me go ahead and speak to the future. Number one, the corporate game. I, I filed my taxes. I finally got around to file my taxes the other night, and I'm getting a refund of $109,000. 
why am I getting this refund? Because I had the car rental business. And as I got into it, the car rental business, even though it failed, it's going to make me $100,000 profit because I'm playing the corporate game. And once again, the corporate game is advanced lessons. This is for someone who had a business two, three years and, you know, it's running, they've got it automated, they've got people hired. But when you can start playing this corporate game, because um, I'm expecting to roll off into 2022 taxes, because one of the things is taxes are one of the largest expenses you have as an employee, as a business owner, as a successful business owner. So you need to have a tax strategy. So what's going to happen during the intellectual property school, I'm going to teach you a tax strategy where you can virtually get all of your federal income taxes that you pay back. Let me, let me say that again. I'm gonna teach you a legitimate and legal strategy using the tax code, using the tax code as the way it is where you can get a lot of money back on your taxes. The link's below. Now, what I'm doing, you can get into the program at 75% off. That's gonna come out to 1700 bucks. Or you can get into the intellectual property school, which is also 1700. So you're better off getting into the program. The link is below and the promo code is million dollar game. That's the promo code. So go ahead and get in there. And once again, do not wait. You wanna get in today because you wanna start working on your future today. There's so much in there for you. You want to get in today. You don't want to wait because it's going to, the price is going to go up into July. You want to get in now because you've got home economics. This includes home economics. This includes the intellectual property school. This includes the art of profit business school. And there's so much things you got to do because I'm going to be honest with you. In the beginning, this is for the rank raw rookie. You never had a business. You never had a corporation. This curriculum is for you. And you want to get in ASAP so you can start working on your future. Because like, once again, I want you to imagine three years into the future. You've got your long-term emergency fund funded. You've got your short-term emergency fund funded. You've got your family operating account funded. You have no debt and you have an active business that's making you five to $15,000 per month on top of your job income. Imagine what your life would be like. Just leave it at $5,000 a month, making an additional $60,000 a year. How would your life look if you were making an additional $60,000 a year and getting all types of tax deductions? What would your life look like? Go ahead and get into the program today. The link's below. It's in the comment section and it's under the description. Go ahead and get into it so you can get this million dollars worth of game. You have people who will vigorously defend their position with no participation in that arena. And at some point, at some point, that it's going to catch up with you. This is why in the intellectual property school, I only teach things that I have done. I don't teach any theory. I don't teach any projections. I don't teach any, it would be nice if you did this. I don't teach any of that. And this is killing the core of America because we have a bunch of spectators versus active participants and technicians. Because when you become a technician and when you start to become good at something, because once in my life, I wasn't even close to being this confident. I wasn't, I was very shy and in many regards timid because my confidence, and some of you call me cocky, comes from being successful at doing the things that I have done. I will not tell you exactly how much I made last month, but I can tell you this. What I made in the month of June is a greater return than people who've got money, who've had money in the stock market for 10 to 15 years. I did that in one month. And this type of participation and activity gives me an extreme level of confidence, an extreme level of confidence. Like, dressed as I am, I will walk up to a gorgeous woman and announce my intentions and either she's gonna say yes or no. It, it doesn't phase me if she says no, because my confidence has built on, like, I can look back and see accomplishment after accomplishment after accomplishment after accomplishment, because I am a participator I am a technician. I am not a spectator. And one of the men's channels, <laughs> Cheek Slaying Headquarters. This guy is hilarious. He, he, he is hilarious. And what I feel, especially in the manosphere, you have a lot of men who are spectators. And I was watching a channel where it says, Tinder has created this situation where less men are actually having sex. And I, I really thought about that. You know, because they went through the reasons why, because the women were gravitating toward a small group of men where the men were swiping pretty much on 70% of the women and the women were swiping on like 10% of the guys. And 
part of the reason we have this dynamic, and I, I will go into that, dating apps don't give you a lot of room to get into depth. Match.com, you can do a long profile. I don't know about Hinge, I'm not on Hinge. I know on Match.com you can. And what you have is a bunch of angry men. They're not just spectators, they're pissed off spectators because at no point in history, well, let's kind of go back because we had the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, the average guy wasn't getting laid. Essentially, you know, you had to meet a girl and be in a relationship with her before she would give up the trim. So let's go the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. Men were getting their, their, they're getting their swag on, right? So now we have a reduction in the number of men who are participating in sexual activity. And once again, these men are angry. They're pissed off. They're upset. They're not happy. They're not happy campers. And we have a lot of men who are being pushed into the incel uh, category because, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you my analysis of the situation, is first of all, and this is proven, there have been studies, the level of testosterone that men have had has had an all time low. So over time, men have become less manly. This is a statistical fact. People want to talk about the laws and stuff. The average man today isn't as manly from a hormonal profile perspective as his father and grandfather were. And what this means, like I will go ahead and share some stuff about, I don't really watch porn. I don't go to strip clubs um, because I'm a participant. And I will admit that due to my kinky, freaky ways that I've done the stuff that the average man will never ever get to experience. But because I'm a participant, I am a technician, I participate in sexual activity. And you have a lot of men who are not participating in sexual activity. They're participating in OnlyFans. They're participating in a website called Chatterbait and other cam girls, where these girls come on and they do all these things and use dildos and stuff. You have a lot of guys who are, because like, I don't get it. Why do you want to watch a woman slide a dildo in herself? That, does nothing for me because I'm just being a spectator and I don't want to be a spectator. I want to be a participant. So if this is one of the reasons that I don't watch porn, I don't go to strip clubs because I rather participate in sexual activity than to assume or watch it. And I'm very, very strong on that point because um, years and years ago, like I don't masturbate because I've had enough opportunities where I just don't have to do that. So one of the reasons that the landscape is the way that it is, and men, you're not gonna like this. From a hormonal perspective, you're statistically less manly than your father. And it's just not hormonally. It's the way that you act. I did a whole video talking about the feminization of the American male. And this is the reason, once again, it's not the women. I know there's a multitude of men's manly spirit channels talking about this women, their attitudes and stuff. It's not the women. It is the men and their lack of masculinity that has created this situation because during the freestyling 60s and with the advent of the pill where you can have uh, sex without consequences, 
this has created a free for all. I as a man have the expectation that I will have sex with you as a woman and I will not promise you a relationship. I will not promise you a commitment. You will not become my girlfriend. You damn sure will not become my wife. And this has become the expectation of the man to get access to all of this sex with no consequences. And in nature, it doesn't work like that. So as a consequence of men occupying an environment where they can have sex without consequences, the environment has changed. Women, and once again, I did a whole video about the female savage. There are women who are not fit for, to be girlfriends. There are women who are not fit to be wives, but that's not all women. It's not all women. And because men have become less manly and men are comfortable to sit on the sidelines. And this is one of the things that's killing America. Mubang, where people get to watch people eat. It's not just Mubang. They get to watch people eat. And you have people who will watch someone else play a video game. This is why these gaming channels are huge because people like to watch someone else play a gaming, a game. So we have become a nation of spectators versus participants. And one of the things that's happening, and especially once again, this is not, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this. It's the men, it's not the women because the men are not leading, the women will not be led. And this is because once again, I don't have no problems getting female companionship. I have no problems, but there's man after man that has man that cannot find one woman that actually likes him. There ha that's a problem. That is a problem for many men. And as I was watching this YouTube video, it's Chris Williamson, Modern Wisdom. Chris Williamson, Modern Wisdom. And I was looking at it because the average man has a whole litany of expectations and assumptions that do not jive with the nature of a woman. Number one, I will use you for sex and you get nothing out the deal. At some point, that was just gonna run into a wall. And that's where we are. A lot of women are like, you're not gonna make me a girlfriend, okay. You're not gonna make me a wife, okay. You're not gonna commit to me, okay. I'm gonna go lesbian. Or I'm gonna do something else. Or I'm just gonna stay by myself. And because men have become less masculine and men have become spectators from watching porn, porn, Porn sites are the largest websites on the internet. I think um, Pornhub gets something crazy like three or four billion views a month. Porn you know, Pornhub, Chatterbait, these streaming sites. Because we have so many men who are spectators. And this is where it gets criminal. These men who are spectators will pay these women money in my estimation for absolutely doing nothing. Like she's on doing the cam show, she's inserting stuff in herself and you're actually paying her money for that versus going out and finding you a real live woman to have sex with. That's where we are in the cuckolding of America. You, if you participate in watching a lot of porn you participate in these cam girl streaming websites, you are in fact a cuckold. You get off on seeing someone else have sex with a woman. You are a cuckold. I want you to really, really digest that. I really, really want you to think about that. You are a cuckold if you rather watch porn, you rather watch a cam girl than actively 
go out, meet a woman and engage with her. You are a cuckold. That's why I titled this video, The Cuckolding of America. And it's getting worse and worse and worse because I had this conversation with Alan Roger Curry. And since I was in sales and I kind of came up in the era before the internet, like if you want a girl's phone number, you had to step to her and ask her for her phone number. There was no internet, there was no DMs to slide into. So I came from a different era. And one of the things that you will consistently see with the cuck holes, because once again, you as a man, if you get off on porn, masturbating all the time, you get off on cam girls, you are a cuck hold. And this is what's happening. Your testosterone level is getting lower because you're becoming less and less manly. That's what's happening. And this is killing America because since so many men, once again, it starts with the men, are sitting on the sidelines being spectators, where are the producers? The other day, um, I gave a live training and people was asking about the recession. You know what my advice was? Don't worry about the recession. Produce, get busy, start working, start your business. Don't even worry about it. You wanna know why? Because there's so many people who are not participating. They're just simply not participating. They're sitting on the sidelines. They're not participating. They're not being active. Don't even worry about it. Just go ahead and do what you need to do and you'll be okay. You will be okay. All right, guys, it's July and we're getting into it. This is the thing for July. It's the program. It includes the intellectual property school and it includes the art of profit business school. It's a powerful combination. First, what's gonna happen this month, we're gonna be building out the intellectual property school. And then next month, we're gonna get into the art of business, the, the art of profit business school. Because one of the things that will happen, because let me, let me just go ahead and put this to you. You need a business, you need some kind of business. You need a business, especially if you're in income danger zone number one, because you need something where you can start getting deductions and expenses on your and your taxes so one of the things i'm going to teach you is how to set up a youtube channel and this is the thing and this there's two parts there's how to set up a youtube channel and then there's how to set up a youtube channel to make money there's two different things there's two different lessons and i'm going to teach you how to set up your youtube channel how to set up your llc and how to position yourself where your YouTube channel becomes a huge tax deduction for you to offset your earned income. I mean, once we get into it and once I show you some stuff, because let me go ahead and speak to the future. Number one, the corporate game. I, I filed my taxes. I finally got around to filing my taxes the other night and I'm getting a refund of $109,000. Why am I getting this refund? Because I had the car rental business. And as I got into it, the car rental business, even though it failed, is gonna make me $100,000 profit because I'm playing the corporate game. And once again, the corporate game is advanced lessons. This is for someone who had a business two, three years, and you know it's running, they've got it automated, they've got people hired, but when you can start playing this corporate game, because um, I'm expecting to roll off into 2022 taxes, because one of the things is taxes are one of the largest expenses you have as an employee, as a business owner, as a successful business owner. So you need to have a tax strategy. So what's gonna happen during the intellectual property school, I'm gonna teach you a tax strategy where you can virtually get all of your federal income taxes that you paid back. Let me, let me say that again. 
I'm going to teach you a legitimate and legal strategy using the tax code, using the tax code as the way it is where you can get a lot of money back on your taxes. The links below. Now, what I'm doing, you can get into the program at 75 percent off. That's going to come out to seventeen hundred bucks. Or you can get into the intellectual property school, which is also seventeen hundred. So you're better off getting into the program. The link is below and the promo code is million dollar game. That's the promo code. So go ahead and get in there. And once again, do not wait. You want to get in today because you want to start working on your future today. There's so much in there for you. You want to get in today. You don't want to wait because it's going to, the price is going to go up end of July. You want to get in now because you've got home economics. This includes home economics. This includes the intellectual property school. This includes the art of profit business school. And there's so much things you got to do because I'm going to be honest with you. In the beginning, this is for the rank raw rookie. You never had a business. You never had a corporation. This curriculum is for you and you want to get in ASAP so you can start working on your future. Cause like once again, I want you to imagine three years into the future, you've got your long-term emergency fund funded. You got your short-term emergency fund funded. You got your family operating account funded. You have no debt and you have an active business that's making you five to $15,000 per month on top of your job income. Imagine what your life would be like. Just to leave it at $5,000 month, making an additional $60,000 a year. How would your life look if you were making an additional $60,000 a year and getting all types of tax deductions? What would your life look like? Go ahead and get into the program today. The link's below. It's in the comment section and it's under the description. Go ahead and get into it so you can get this million dollars worth of game.